In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert decimal degrees to degrees, minutes, and seconds. I'm going to use the following examples on the screen to show you how to do that. Recall that in every one degree, we have 60 minutes. And also in every one degree, we have 3600 seconds. In every one minute, we have 60 seconds. This can also be compared to time measurement for easy recall, where we have one hour equals 60 minutes. Also, one hour has 3600 seconds. And one minute has 60 seconds. That being said, let's get started with the first decimal degree, which is negative 42.9021 degree. And let's convert it to degrees, minutes, and seconds. Negative 42.9021. So, degrees, minutes, and seconds. Now, before we do this conversion, I want to let you know that this decimal degrees or this decimal number can be divided into two parts. We have the first part which is 42 which is the whole number part we have the second part which is 0.9021 which is the decimal part. So to convert to degree, we're going to take the whole number part of this decimal number, which is 42, and make it the degree conversion as 42 degree. Now to convert to minutes, we are going to take the decimal part of, part of it and multiply it by 60. So have point nine zero two one times sixty minute. The reason why we multiply each by sixty minutes to get a minute conversion is because in every one degree we have sixty minute. If we equate it with 0 0.9021 degree, because this is in degree, 
over x, which is the unknown. Now, let's cross multiply it and find x. We have point nine zero two one times sixty minutes divided by one degree. So remember this is in degrees. So this degree we cancel this degree and then we'll be left with 0 0.9021 times 60 minutes. Exactly what we have here. So that's the reason why we multiply 0 0.9021 by 60 minutes to get the minute conversion. So let's multiply 0 0.9021 by 60. We have 54 point one two six. So 54 is the the minute conversion. Now, in order to convert to, to seconds, we are going to multiply 0.126, which is the decimal part of it. Remember, the whole of this decimal number is in minutes. So we're going to multiply 0.126 by 60 seconds. Point one two six times sixty seconds. Again, the reason why we multiply point one two six by sixty seconds to get the second conversion is because in every one minute we have. 60 seconds. If we equate it with 0.126 minute, let x be the unknown. Now let's cross multiply x equals 0.126 minute times 60 seconds over one minute. So this minute we cancel this minute. So we'll be left with 0 0.126 times 60 seconds, which is exactly what we have here. So that's the reason why we multiply 0 0.126 by 60 seconds to get the second conversion. So let's multiply point one to six by sixty. We got seven point five six. Seven. Point five six seconds. We can approximate seven point five six to eight. We have forty two degrees fifty. 
54 minutes and 8 seconds. The answer is negative 42 degrees 54 minutes 8 seconds. So don't forget to to add the negative sign to your final answer. Let's do the second example, which is negative 9.1253 degrees. Now to convert this decimal degrees to degree, first we are going to take this uh, whole number part, which is 9, and make it the degree conversion. To get the minute conversion, we're going to take the decimal part, which is 0 0.1253 degree, and multiply it by 60 minutes. Uh, point one two times sixty. The answer is seven point five one eight. So seven becomes the minute conversion. To get the seconds conversion, we're going to multiply 0.518 by 60 seconds. 0.518 times 60 seconds. Point five one eight times sixty. We have thirty one point zero eight seconds. So we can approximate this to Theta one seconds. We have nine degrees seven minutes and thirty one seconds. So the answer is remember the negative sign. We have minus nine degrees. 7 minutes, 31 seconds. So that's the answer. The third example this is a positive decimal degree, which is 72.4180. So to convert to degrees, we are going to take the whole number part of the decimal degrees and make it the degrees conversion. So we have 72 degrees. To convert to minutes, we are going to take the, the decimal part of it, which is 0.4180 and multiply it by 
by system minute to get a minute conversion. Time 60, we have 25.08. The whole number part of it, which is 25, becomes the minute conversion. Now, to get the seconds conversion, we're going to multiply the decimal part of it by 60 seconds. We have 0 0.08 times 60 seconds, 0 0.08 times 60, we have 4.8 seconds. So you can approximate this to, to 5 seconds. We have 72 degrees, 25 minutes, and 5 seconds. The answer is 72 degrees, 25 minutes, 5 seconds.